You're listening to the Money Mike Syndicated Radio Podcast. We want to say to you, happy holidays. It's a beautiful Christmas coming your way. And we're going to get right to it. Uh, Dr. J, Julius Irving, is the all-time GOAT in basketball, in pro basketball. Not Michael Jordan and not LeBron James. I repeat, Julius Irving, Dr. J, is the all-time GOAT. There's never been a player like Julius There's never been a player that could jump as high as Julius. There's never been a player that could soar through the air as high as Julius Irving. And what Money Mike is saying here is the fact that Julius Irving played when there was no film, there was no YouTube, there was no social media. He was out of Roosevelt High School in New York. Ball players coming out of New York. Uh, Secondarily went to UMass and just flat out did his thing. And you know, For Julius, he was the ambassador of the NBA. So it's kind of a two-point thing because really, Money Mike, am I saying that, okay, Julius Irving is the GOAT. He was the ambassador. He was pre-Michael Jordan. So was the emulation of Julius Irving emulated into Michael Jordan's game? Yes. Was the emulation of Julius Irving entered into Kobe's game? Yes. But if you go back and you look at Julius and you look at what his accomplishments were, what he did in the game of basketball and how he paved the way for other individuals and the success that they are having today in the NBA is all because of Julius. And when I say Dr. J, because back then the doctor used to make a house call. And obviously, again, he was drafted by the Milwaukee Bucks in the first round, 12th overall pick, 1972. And we all know, even as we move forward in the game today, the doctor, Julius Irving, could have played in any era. It wouldn't have mattered. And he was also drafted Virginia Squires. Okay, so he... 71 to 73, went on to play with the New York Nets. And we all know about the big fro. Because Julius had about the biggest fro as you could have, but when he flowed through the air and he soared through the air, there was no one that has ever taken the court can do what Julius can do. And when I say do what Julius can do, I mean you can play the game the way he played the game as first class. He was a competitor. There's no doubt about it. I mean, we have to be honest. He loved to compete. And he was in the ABA. So some of that film is just not available. But I can tell you this, folks. If you saw all the film on Julius Irving, every play he made, like they're watching it today, I'm a flat out day, and I can't take this into 2024 without letting everyone know where I stand. Okay? In my opinion... And in my eyes, I've laid eyes on all three of them. Michael Jordan is not the GOAT. LeBron James is not the GOAT. The GOAT is the doctor. Dr. J. Julius Irving is the GOAT. And I don't care what era you put the doctor in. There's no doubt, Mike, he'd have dipped all over you. You wouldn't have had a chance with the doctor. There wouldn't have been no blocking, no shot on the doctor because the doctor, you know, Mike, you got big hands. Mike Jordan has big hands, but the doctor, you could take one of his hand and cover two of Mike's. So the doctor could do some things that a lot of people had never, ever seen in the Rucker Park. When you put into the Rucker Park, and folks, when I say you come from the concrete jungle, that's the concrete jungle. Okay, and everybody up in the trees, up in the towers, everywhere you look, everybody letting you know, just wait till the doctor get here. And when the doctor show up, there's going to be a house call. And I look back at what he did. I mean, obviously, as we spoke, Virginia Squires playing for the New Jersey Nets, then going on and playing for Philadelphia. Brotherly love. He brought a championship home there and he sacrificed He sacrificed a lot of his stats because he had other individuals. And as an ambassador for the NBA, 
the individual where the endorsement started, the doctor. Okay, so when you look at the greatest, you're going to look at the greatest on the court, the greatest off the court. There's been no better NBA ambassador than the doctor, Julius Irving. And I speak it correctly because I've had these arguments with many people. The only thing they didn't see is the film. You got film on LeBron. You got film on Michael Jordan. But if you had all the film on Julius Irving, I tell you this, you'd see it the same way I do. And when you look at it, 1983 NBA champion, two-time ABA champion, ABA playoff, two-time MVP, most valuable player, 1981 in the NBA, three-time most valuable player in the ABA, I mean, 11-time NBA All-Star. Five-time ABA All-Star. So ever since he stepped on the court, the doctor has been an All-Star. And I'm not talking, don't get me wrong, because I got a lot of respect for Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan's a hell of a basketball player, but I never can understand the argument of how Michael Jordan got a pass for going to six straight finals and winning them all. But then you say LeBron is less because he went to 10 or 11 finals and didn't win. I don't understand that argument because Michael Jordan, I'm going to tell you, the best players that came out of the game, when he first faced them, he didn't take them down. And what I mean by that, Michael Jordan did not take down the L.A. Lakers. Michael Jordan did not take down the Boston Celtics. And Michael Jordan did not take down the Detroit Pistons, the bad boys. So I know for a fact that Michael Jordan, we can't celebrate him going to six finals when he got knocked off six other times. Okay, and I don't believe with LeBron you're going to fault him because he went all the way and didn't win it in the end. It's a ridiculous argument. But I'm talking about the doctor. And when you get to talking about the doctor, like I said, you know, you're talking all NBA, five all NBA first team, all NBA second team. He jumped on that a couple times. Four time all ABA first team, ABA all rookie team. And the most one that stands out to me is the ABA first all defensive team. The doctor could play defense, and the doctor could grab it right out the air. The doctor could do things that never have been seen with the basketball. If you look at Michael Cooper, get out the way. When he went under the hoop and pearled it off, Magic and Coop looked at each other and said, man, did you just see that? I mean, the doctor, Bill Walton, was trying to meet him at the mountaintop and ain't had a chance. So I truly believe in my heart, Michael, he'd have dunked all over you. Julius, you wouldn't have been able to stop him. There's no way you admit it stop Julius, Mike. And I don't mean if it's a reverse dunk or behind, cock it behind the head. It don't matter, Mike. You wouldn't have had a chance. LeBron is your pinnacle. I'm going to say 18, 19, 21, 22, 23-year-old. You may have been him at, at the mountaintop. But I'm going to tell you, if Julius Irvin put over a million and two million dollars in his body like LeBron has, I guarantee you, you wouldn't even see the doctor. He might be 15 feet high. That's how great of a player he was. But he was a better teammate. He was a better ambassador. And he paved the way for Michael, Kobe, LeBron, and the next individual that's coming. This is the doctor. So when I talk to you about it, you got to understand that, you know, the jersey's retired in Philly. The, the jersey's retired in Brooklyn. I mean, you know, 32 by the Brooklyn Nets, number 32, number six by the 76ers. So he's on the ABA all-time team. He's on the NBA all-time team. And folks, I just bring it to you straight. I don't try to kid you. I've seen all of the players play. I study 94 feet. And when me and my friends get together, we, we actually study 94 feet, every inch of the court. And the doc, when he started playing, there wasn't a three-point line. But I can guarantee you this, the doc could kiss that ball off the glass better than no other. He knew how to play angles, and he knew how to just rise and run through you. The most dominant basketball player that I have ever laid eyes on, and this is my opinion, and for the different generations out there that never able to see the film on the doctor, the doctor was a bad man. All right, and there, there was nobody whether it was back then or today, would stop the doctor. 
So that's what I'm bringing to you here in the Money Mike Syndicate podcast. You know, it's happy holidays times, and I just got to make my resolutions and say, hey, I didn't see the doctor play Julius Irving, who is the greatest basketball player of all time. And folks, you can disagree with me. You can shoot your comments. You can let me have it, but I'm only speaking the truth. To see things done by the doctor that no other man has done. And Michael Jordan, man, what a player. Outstanding. What a competitor. I mean, a true, true competitor. And then you look at Kobe, man. Kobe had the fire and ice, man. That 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 one there, the Mamba, rest in peace. Man, that's the most that that might have been the biggest competitor of all. Kobe Bryant. But when you look at LeBron, and LeBron's been competing on multiple teams, and he's been getting it done, but the thing is, LeBron is, it's a difference. LeBron game is predicated on him sharing the ball and moving. The doc just went ahead and took over. And when the doc took over, he just, he went on out there and he averaged 30 points. I mean, it wasn't, it, it wasn't nothing, 24.2 over his entire career, but it wasn't nothing that could stop the Doc. I mean, the Doc pulled down 10,000 rebounds, 5,000 assists. I mean, first team all defense, getting two, three steals a game. I mean, Doc played the game as a first-class ambassador, and he battled, okay? There's no doubt about it. And he had a team. He had a team that was full of superstars. And the one thing I admire the most about Julius is he was able to give up and sacrifice some of his later years for the betterment of the team. And that's where I'm at today, and that's the game of basketball that I watched growing up is, oh, can we move forward to the day, and can these young men give up their betterment and sacrifice for the team? Because that's what the doctor did. He was a first-class endorsement. Every door that was open was because of Julius Irving. So when you look at him on the court and off the court, great teammate, nobody ever complained, nobody ever spoke bad about the doctor. And I want to tell it to you straight, I can't go into the next year. So my hands are tied. There is no better basketball player that I have seen than Julius Dr. J. Irving in all my years. And that's the concrete jungle to the gym to the NCAA arena to the NBA arena. My opinion is Julius Irving is the all-time greatest player to ever play the game. And that's no shade on Mike. That's no shade on LeBron. That's no shade on all the other guys. But those who are old enough and a lot of you guys played with the doctor, you know what I'm talking about. You know what the doctor was capable of. All right, so we give it to you straight. It's a happy holiday. Some things we can't carry with us in the next year. You guys get back at me. We love you. And we're always praying because we're getting better and better, going a little higher and higher. We got a great 2024 plan. But we're going to end it by this. they saying all things are possible to those who believe. You're listening to the Money Mikes Syndicated Radio Podcast.